Sometimes just the right buzz can catapult your business into the black. But how do you get that buzz going? Mail Communications' George McQuaid is here with the answer. Thanks so much for being here. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. No problem. Well, now you represent some major companies and some celebrities, right? Yes, we do. We represent uh, uh, TV, movies, actors, actresses, but uh, probably our most known client is uh, Chief Economist Jack Kaiser mm -hmm. with the Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation. We've and had him here. We, you've had him here. Uh, most recently, we did 85 million media impressions over three months during the Writers Guild strike, and that's not even our client, neither side. We that's just, huge. Yeah, it was. It was amazing. And wow. New records. Uh, it sounds like it. Well, so you probably know what you're talking about here, <laughs> I think we could easily say. Now, the big question about creating a buzz, mm -hmm. I think, for nonprofits or for regular businesses, sometimes comes down to money. Um, if you don't have a lot of money, how do you get that buzz going about what you're doing? Very good question. And most nonprofits, that's why they're nonprofit, they don't have a budget. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of resources out there that they don't know about, they don't utilize. And probably the most underutilized medium right now is the internet. Mm -hmm. Now, I wouldn't have said that four or five years ago because a lot of people didn't have blogs and internet uh, websites. And But today, there are free blogs. Two of the most utilized is Google. You go to Google, type in free blog. It's a matter of cutting and pasting, username, mm -hmm. password. Mm -hmm. The other is, the most used by journalists is wordpress.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And those are two blogs right there where you don't even need to build a website. You can just start adding links and adding what they call widgets and gidgets, and mm -hmm. basically it's your life on the desktop. Uh -huh. is what I you call can it. put up pictures and, and everything. Pictures, probably. video, music, even uh, headlines coming from uh, this station right here you could put on your website. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The other way that I think is very helpful are e signs or newsletters uh -huh. where you even put out a newsletter. We, CCN puts out a regular e-newsletter every week. And the other thing I think is very helpful is public speaking mm -hmm. and news releases and word of mouth. And, and all those kind of come together. Like mm -hmm. tonight, for example, if I had a chance, I would put out a news release that I'm speaking on your station. Uh -huh. Now, not everybody's going to show up or not everybody's going to watch. Mm -hmm. But what I talk about, creating a buzz for your business, is going to be distributed to print, TV, and radio. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you a great story. I spoke to the Chamber of Commerce in Century City about how advertising is dying or is dead and social medium and, and social networks and, and blogs are being picked up. Mm -hmm. I got invited to speak to the first blog national conference, 5,000 blogs on a <laughs> bloggers rather uh -huh. in Las Vegas. Wow. I turned it down. I couldn't do it. Oh. However, it was all a result of the information that I put in that news release. Mm -hmm. So that was like free publicity for Mayo Communications. Makes a big difference. Now, quick question. When you get that buzz and people are responding to you, how do you keep the momentum going? Well, you have to continue to grow the story. For example, if you have a wildfire and you are a nonprofit and you're helping out with, well, let me give you even a better story. One that really hits home. It just happened recently. A friend of mine, Eileen Smolson, came up to me and says, I've never done a blog before. Can you help me out? And when she told me what it was, I said, this is great. She basically was going around collecting blankets for dog kennels and uh, uh, animal shelters mm -hmm. to keep the dogs warm. Mm -hmm. What she also found out psychologically that because the dog was in a blanket, it made it more appealing for people to adopt a pet. Very interesting. She started out with dozens and it got up to... 3,000 blankets. Wow. We did a blog. She ended up being on the front page of the Daily News as a result. She put out a couple of announcements. The uh, councilman did a resolution for her. She's been on the radio. She continues to grow, all as a result of that little blog. Very, very good. Now, let's say you get your uh, like one-man mom-and-pop shop, and you get all this attention. What, what do you do? I mean, you have to respond somehow to these people if you want your business to stay intact. Well, you don't want to be overwhelmed. Well, what you have to do is you have to prioritize. What is the most important for you? Is this medium going to help? you. I've had, I won't tell you what company, but I've had a small company where the lady actually, it was a security company, she actually became a, like a military resource for the TV stations, mm. but never mentioned her company. Oh. Now, that's great for the station, but what does it do for the <laughs> not do anything. So I had to work with her. We do media training, by the way, and one of the things that we taught her is to be sure to mention your company. Right. And this is the way we do it at XYZ, or this is the way we do it at Mayo Communications. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, uh, is there any such thing, this, this has to be my last question, I'm 
going to get the rap signal here. Is there any such thing as bad publicity? I don't think so. I, I said this last night on another program where if you have a negative story, think of it like electricity. There's always a positive and there's always a negative. If you have a negative, come in with a positive. Mm -hmm. I had 60 Minutes show up at the Housing Authority years ago and I dissuaded him from doing a hit piece on the Housing Authority wow. on the day the executive director was up for a race. Instead, I had him doing a visual story on residents, moving residents, and mm -hmm. it got Best Crisis Communications Award from the Public Relations wow. Society of America. Okay. And the celebrities know how to do that, too. Celebrities, is, and here's real quick, oh. in Pasadena, uh -huh. Union Station Foundation, which sounds like a train station. I used to work for them. Okay, there you go. They wanted to create a buzz for feeding 5,000 homeless in the park on Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and Christmas. Which I organized. And you know what you did? We brought in child celebrities, something that's had never right. been done. I remember We brought that. in a dozen child celebrities, and guess what? Their child celebrity friends showed up. We had the entire cast of friends out. That's right. That's and awesome. that created a buzz. We were on KNX Business Hour talking about how to give to charities right after uh, Katrina's disaster. And we had TV, radio, we even had Channel 5 doing a cooking show uh -huh, that's out of Pasadena. So very there you go. good. Thank you so so much, George. My Great pleasure. to meet you. Nice Appreciate to meet you. it. And uh, we'll have you on again, I'm sure. Great. Okay, take care. We'll be right back.